In this video, we learn how to leverage the power of geometry nodes to make an animated escalator system. You can have things coming down this escalator and things going up the escalator. We can change the speed and the number of steps on the escalator. Feel free to check the first link in the description to download the project files. Hi, I'm Rajmeet from In The Code. Let's get started with today's video. Start with a mesh circle. From the right view, rotate it by 90 degrees. Delete the front half vertices. Move it behind by 5 in Y and Z. Select the top vertex, extrude by 3, then minus to flip the direction of extrusion, with the bottom vertex extrude by 1.5 and repeat. Select everything, making sure that the pivot point is set to 3D cursor, which is at the world origin. Ctrl D to duplicate and Ctrl M to mirror, first across Y and then across Z. Press F to join the vertices like so. This will serve as our escalator blueprint curve. Add a geometry node tree to this mesh. First, we convert this mesh to curve. Resample curve node to dynamically change the resolution of the curve. Add a points node and join it with the base node tree to see it in the viewport. On increasing the counts of this node, all points remain in the exact same position on top of each other. We need them to distribute themselves along the curve. Enter sample curve node. When the position output here is plugged into the position of the points node, it jumps to the curve. Factor going from 0 to 1 makes the point traverse the circumference of the curve. Increase number of points and plug the index into the factor input. Now if we math add a value in between, we can see the points moving. In order for these points to be equally distributed along the curve, we need to add a math divide node. Division needs to be by the count value of the points. Count input into the group input and plug this into the divide node. This count can also be plugged into the count for the resample curve node. The fraction node helps us loop the animation. Plugging the scene seconds into the original add node, we will get a constantly moving points animation on the curve. Multiplying the time by a certain factor makes the movement faster or slower. A beveled cube is used as the building block of our escalator. This is just a regular cube scaled out a bit with the bottom edge beveled. And on top of it, we apply a bevel modifier to make everything extra smooth. We place this in a separate collection called block. Back to our geometry nodes tree, we add an instance on points node after the points node and instance the block collection. Adjusting the scale until our escalator looks structurally accurate. To add the jar that will come down the escalator, we duplicate the instance on points node, plug the jar collection as instance. Points input stays the same as we join geometry on top of the underlying block structure. Adjusting the scale for the jars to about 0.1. Transform geometry node to position the jars on top of the blocks. To make space on each step, temporarily disable the geometry nodes modifier on the curve. Select the top vertices of the curve and pull it back a bit in the Y with G and Y. We adjust the curve vertices until our jars have enough space to sit on the stairs. Now we can adjust the values on the transform geometry node to pull the jars in place. NumPad 5 makes the viewport to be viewed in orthographic view. We do not want a jar on each step. So here's how we add a custom selection of jars to be shown. Take the index node, pass it through the modulo node. The value in modulo being equal to zero is how many indices in between shall be skipped. So index modulo phi means after every five steps, there will be a jar on the escalator. Condensing some nodes by pressing Ctrl plus H makes it easier to see the node tree from a Hawkeye view. 
duplicating the bunch of nodes to make a copy at the top for stairs up. Adding the transform geometry node allows us to space these two branches apart. Adding the count into the divide node fixes this weird jitter situation. Changing the add node to subtract makes the stairs move in the opposite direction. Now we can remove the jar collection and add the strawberry collection inside. Here the scale of the objects are very different so in order to see the berries we need to increase the scale on the instance node significantly. Our basic node tree is ready, just adding some reroutes around so it feels a little more organized. and frames behind the nodes labeled stairs up and stairs down. Looping animation. Our aim is to find the frame number on our timeline which when set will give us a seamless loop from start to finish. In our case the ingredients on the way up repeat every 2 steps and the jar on the way down repeat every 5 steps. The frame number where both the rhythms will align is the LCM or least common multiple of 2 and 5 and the count of the ladder so LCM of 2, 5, 70 which is 70. The frames it takes to make one full step is FPS divided by multiplier that is 24 divided by 3. Multiplier is the speed at which we are subtracting or adding to the index or in other words the pace of the escalator going up or down. So this animation will loop exactly after 70 times 8 that is 560 steps. We can add the steps count and multiplier speed into group input so they can be adjusted easily in the modifiers panel. Adding randomization. Right now all strawberries going up are the exact same. This looks very boring. So we add some randomization to the rotation of these berries with a random value node. Combine XYZ to isolate only the axis we want the effect to take in. Now each instance has a slightly random Z rotation. And we can play with the random seed value to get a result we like. Duplicate the circle mesh, rename it EXT. Remove geometry nodes modifier. F to fill the face into the whole thing. Move it outside the structure and adjust the vertices such that it fits in place. If the 3D cursor is right in the middle, we can set origin of this mesh to 3D cursor and apply the mirror modifier because mirroring happens from the origin point of the mesh. Solidify modifier to add some thickness to the outside. Duplicate the vertices on the other side of the escalator to complete the exterior. In X-ray mode, selecting the top vertices, Ctrl Shift B allows you to bevel them to give a curvature at the top instead of sharp edges. Inset the faces to make the glass part inside the escalator exterior. We separate this into a separate mesh for convenience. We can give a material slot onto the mesh itself for stairs. But this won't take effect as desired unless the set material node is dropped in the node tree with the stairs material selected. So here's how we can make a geonodes system for an escalator. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Wahiguruji ka khalsa, Wahiguruji ki fateh.